I am 26 years old. This is my third election, and this is the third time I hear the lesser of two evils argument. I say to you now, my brothers and sisters, no. <laughs> But there is something different this time, something revolutionary, something powerful. And it isn't just the fact that we're all frustrated with the government, with the way things are done. People have been frustrated for generations. In this room, we have a packed house, but there are tens of thousands of people watching and listening live on Facebook Live. We would love the help of the mainstream media, but we don't need them anymore. This is a new age. It's a turning point in our nation's history. People are asking themselves, how can this be the greatest nation on the face of the earth? When our democracy that people have fought and died for is slipping through our fingers. And the sickest part of it all the sickest part of it all is that we are conditioned to believe that our only options we have left to rectify this situation, to save our democracy, is Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. How can this be? The fate of humanity rests in the hands of a mentally challenged bigot and a morally corrupt Decepticon. How can this be? I am 26 years old. This is my third election. And this is the third time I hear the lesser of two evils argument. I say to you now, my brothers and sisters, no. <laughs> Never again. I refuse to participate in this corruption, in this nonsense. I will choose the greater good, whether it is statistically likely or not. Because the lesser of two evils is still evil. There is only one candidate that plans to end all wars for oil. Only one candidate plans to free our students from debt. Only one candidate plans to provide free health care and free education. Only one candidate plans to free Palestine and end support for corrupt dictators and regimes all around the world. Only one candidate plans to protect our environment and will put her life on the line at a protest in North Dakota. Only one candidate plans to fight for the greater good her name is Jill Stein. So whether or not the corporate media wants to provide us a platform, it doesn't matter. The revolution is coming. It's right here in this room. It's every single one of you. We have a responsibility to speak out and spread this message to our friends. If you are waiting for CNN, Fox, or MSNBC to broadcast the revolution, if you are waiting for them to broadcast the revolution, you will die old and disappointed. We have the media. We are the media. Take to your Facebook, take to your Snapchat, tell all your friends and family, tell everyone you know about Jill Stein and what she represents. Every single one of us has the ability to do something great. The revolution is within you. World peace is within you. The greater good is, is within you. We must take responsibility and rise to the challenge. We have only our chains to lose. My dear brothers and sisters, remember if we are to break free from the nonsense of the two-party system, we must drop the lesser of two evils. Not tomorrow, today, right now. And we must fight for the greater good from this day until our last day. And that is why I, a Muslim American man named Ahmed Hassan, will be yes. voting for a Jewish American female named Jill Stein because she is the most qualified candidate.